Welcome to episode 66, Stay at Home Mother's Day Gifts. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Maloney. Thanks for joining me this week. I really look forward to talking to you this week about Mother's Day. Did you remember it's Sunday? I know it's hard right now. Everyone's sitting inside. Really hard to keep a calendar and remember what's going on, but don't forget your mother this Mother's Day. I got some great ideas right here that are going to be some free, some cheap, some easy, but all do stay at home. They're easy to do. You can do it for your mother. You can do it with distance, and you don't have to worry about if you're going to get her sick. The first one is if you have great flower gardens. Right now, we have a few different flowers up. We have tulips. We have daffodils and some other spring flowers. Those make great cut flowers. Hyacinth is a great one. It has a great smell to it. You can get it over to your mother. You might have it right in your garden. She might have it in her garden. But just making a cut flower vase, it's a great way to express some love. Another one you can do that's outside is mulch. Mulch is an easy one because you can call in the delivery. Yes, it costs a little bit of money, of course, and it's definitely going to cost you some sweat equity. But it's something you can do that immediately puts a face value, curb appeal, immediate change to a property for little money. Usually mulch goes for somewhere around $35 to maybe $50 a yard delivered depending on the company. But you can get it delivered right to your driveway and you can put it out there. You can get it out for your mom and she's really going to appreciate it. I know my mother brought that one up this year. We've done, in past years, we've seeded her lawn, we've raked her lawn. We've done many different outside projects, but she really wants the mulch this year. So that's what we're going to take care of. Another great one is to buy some plants or a tree over at the local home and garden store. That there, you can usually get called in delivery right now, or you can get curbside pickup, which is a great way to express your love for your mom and to plant something that will be there for years to come, and maybe even just be a remembrance in some time in the future of your parent or loved one. So that's a great way to express your love to your mother, or maybe it's not your own mother. Maybe it's just someone else you know that needs somebody to say that they love them during Mother's Day. So you can plant a tree in their name. Planting a tree or any other plant is a great way year after year for that person to remember that gift and to grow with the gift, which grows with them. If you buy a nice flowering tree, something maybe like a cherry or an apple or some of the other ones that are currently flowering this spring, it's another thing that just every time spring comes around, whether stuck in the house or able to go out, it's just a beautiful gift that's going to keep on giving year after year. Planting a tree can be an amazing experience for a lot of people, so I highly recommend that one. Another thing we could do would be some organization. We could uh, go out there and organize up the shed. We could go organize the garage. We could even organize the basement. Maybe it's even just organized in our own room. Sometimes we think our mothers want things like material gifts. We have ideas of chocolates and all these things. But in reality, anything we can do to cut our workload, anything we can do to make her home, remember, for those of you living within her home, that is making her home better. Maybe you don't live with her and you're outside the home and you're not doing that for your mother. Maybe you do a gift as in you go to her home and you organize her shed. If your mother's at the age where you're not living with her anymore, chances are that's going to mean a lot when you do that heavy lifting organization. Now, keep in mind we have COVID-19 going on, so we'd want to do something like the garage or shed. And remember, I don't know the exacts, but I think COVID lives about three to four days on the longest surface. So if you go organize that shed and she doesn't use it for a week, she doesn't have to worry about the fact that you touched items and you have a little bit of separation in time. The other thing you could do would be bring some sanitizer with you. But again, if she's not going to be using it for more than a week, I think you're good. I can't give you that exact recommendation, but from what I've watched during the presidential speeches and everything else been going on on the news, it looks like metal and things like that are three to four day surfaces with everything being less. But I, again, am not an expert, but some of this organization can really mean a lot. Some other things you could do would be some spring cleaning. There's quite a few spring cleaning projects out there that would be great ideas to do for your mother and add value to her home. One might be to clean the gutters. Gutter cleaning is something that should be done in spring and fall. A lot of people do it one time a year, but there are some things that go on with gutters, such as causing mold in the attic, that people don't realize. If you keep gutters full of stuff, they keep moisture there, and then when the sun beats on it, it ends up evaporating and then the condensation sets up up through the eaves through something called the eaves vent which ends up on the inside of the roof and you end up getting a black mold like substance up there that can cause issues and then eventually if you have an inspector out you might find out you actually have mold from your gutters that's something we want to avoid we want to clean those and that's a great way of giving a gift a lot of times mom does not want to get up on the ladder and if you're going over your mom's house and doing that for her, chances are maybe your dad doesn't want to do it either so Doing that gift for your mother, or if you are dad and you're doing it for mom, great job out there. Just get out there, clean up the gutters. Power washing, that's another great one. 
A lot of us have pile washers. We also can rent them. Remember, rental houses, you can call in ahead and they'll put it outside for you, pick it up. Or you might want to pick up a pile washer. Or maybe you want to go over to the big box store like Lowe's or Home Depot and see if they have one and purchase one. A pile washer is a great investment. It's something where if you have concrete patios, you have plastic fences, you have vinyl sided houses, a lot of different things that you can wash. Pile washing is something where you want to pay attention to what you're doing, make sure you don't damage the item, but it really can rejuvenate something. If your parents have a pool, and you're looking to go over there, wash down the pool deck, you won't believe the difference. It's going to look night and day. If you get a little bit of a chemical that goes with it, a washing chemical for concrete or a washing chemical for plastic, and you put it on first, let it soak for a little bit, the results are amazing. And all that you really spend, if you already own the power washer, all that you really spend is time. If you don't already own the power washer, you pay a little rental money. Or if you're investing right now and buying a power washer, you're going to see a return on your investment and the fact that everything in your home is going to be looking better that you can wash with it. Not only will they look better, but also washing things and cleaning things can actually prolong the life. As well as if you're about to do a stain or a paint on a surface, there's no better way than to thoroughly clean the surface before you put the paint or stain on so that it properly adheres. Another thing that I was thinking about today that I'm sure a lot of you hadn't thought about, maybe wash your car. This is a great one. We can get out there. Maybe we use the family. Maybe it's just myself and we go out and wash the car. But washing the car, it's a great way to say thank you and, you know, saves your parents a trip out. So let's talk about some other things that you can do. How about grocery shopping? Have you offered to your parents yet or your mom to say, hey, mom, you know, for Mother's Day, tell me what you need out in the world and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to get it for you. And when you go out and get it for her, Bring a little bit of spray with you, and when you deliver it, put it on her front porch, wipe it down, give her a nice clean shopping list, and that way there your mother doesn't have to worry about exposure to COVID-19 out there. There's a lot of different little things like this that we can do that are simple. The other things we can do is pay attention to what mom loves. Does mom love different things? We maybe deliver those things in small increments across the week. I know a lot of people focus on the actual day, but again, like I said, coming into the introduction to this episode, it's like... Right now with COVID-19 going on, no one really has a calendar. Everyone's calendar is slow. No one really knows what to do next. They're trying to figure out the day, especially the older people. And let's be honest, obviously, your mom, most of our moms are at least 18, 19, 20 at minimum. And if we're born and then after that, we have, by the time we're aged to do any of these projects, our mom's going to be 40, 50, 60, which puts them in the high risk category. So a lot of the simple gifts we're doing can really go a long way and also can preserve the love and happiness of a family with mom. And we don't want to put our moms at risk this year. So make sure when you're thinking about your gifts, you do things that are going to bring down risk for her and help her out. Let's talk about a few more. How about cleaning the windows on the home? That's a great one. That one, again, adds curb appeal. Every time I list a home, I suggest that they make sure that they clean those windows. So if you clean your windows on the regular, it's a lot less of a process. It also, it's a great way to see the world when you're stuck inside. You're looking out the windows all the time. It's nice to see the world in, as I would call it, HD versus that low definition picture that we normally see. Another idea I have that you could do would be to paint a room. Painting is a great way to express your love, and it's also a great way for very low expense and to stay inside type thing that you can change a room and have a brand new feel to it. It's also another great way to add value to the home. A lot of us know with our parents, they're being older, a lot of their homes get dated. And the problem is when we actually go to sell those homes and they go to move to the next one, a lot of times they take the punishment of the fact that their home hasn't been upgraded. So one great Mother's Day gift is to make sure that you're working on your parents' home. Or maybe it's just putting a little bit of money on the plate and hiring in a contractor. Maybe you have that advantage that you have the financial ability to do so and you hire in a contractor to help. But I would say the big thing to remember, like I said earlier about Mother's Day gifts is they really want to come from the heart. They really want to come from you. Of course, it makes sense sometimes to hire people in and we do need to pay for certain things to make them happen. But sometimes it's nicer to have something simple that's done by somebody with love and affection than it is to make something that was taken from the fact that you can spend money. Not that we don't appreciate the things that we spend money on, but one of my favorite people that talks about gift giving, a guy named Steve Sims, he always talks about trying to figure out something you can get somebody for less than 20 or less than $40. And he talks about the complexity that it takes to really think that deep into gift giving, to think about what is something unique that would highlight something they already have in their life. What would accentuate their life? What would make them do something they love even better already? 
Maybe it'd be a kickstand that holds up their favorite motorcycle or whatever. He always talks about it that way. So when we're thinking about mom, maybe it's just something simple that will absolutely, maybe it's a mug. Maybe it's something that reminds her every day when she drinks her tea of you. We want to think about these things. The other thing that's great right now when we're gift giving would be pictures. Pictures of loved ones. People miss each other. Being separated is very difficult for some people. So think about these things. Maybe a digital picture frame. I'm going to talk about some things you can order online. Let's go on Amazon. Get mom something nice. We could get her those things that they want to think about. There's lots of different places where you can customize and put your own personality on them. Some of the things you can get from Etsy, you can go over there and you can have your photo embedded on a blanket. I think you really want to think of ways to connect yourself with mom this year. Well, I hope this helps you guys give your mom the great gift that she deserves this year. Make sure to keep her safe. We want to have her year after year for more Mother's Day to come. And realize, not always does it have to come from money, but as long as it comes from the heart, mom's going to love it. Thank you so much for listening this week. If you haven't yet checked out our blog or Facebook group, make sure to go over and check that out. I hope this helps you get the perfect gift for mom. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to email me, PM me, DM me, call me, whatever works best for you. And I look forward to talking to you next week. Make sure to subscribe to our podcast.